Here's another coordination exercise to, um, to help you improve your back kicks and to also link them together. Um, you know, we've got a big pad here, which is, it's, you know, it's a big comfy pad, so you don't have to be too, too scared to, to commit because you're not going to get hurt, okay? Also, it's not as technical as holding, you know, mitts and focus pads, which is a skill and art form. If you have your friend or, you know, a family member, if, you, if you're at home training, get them to hold the pad, okay? So from here, we're going we're gonna to emphasize a, a, an attacking back kick into a counter back kick. So Martin's going to demonstrate... Again, it's the same principles as we've been leading on all, all the, um, the series, okay? So, Martin's going to attack with a back kick. As he attacks, he's going to land here, okay? He, effectively, he's going to land in quite a deep stance, and a vulnerable stance. As he does that, as I come at him, he then goes back kick, okay? And it's a very short back kick. Taekwondo team, um, from here, he could almost set me up with this. You know, he, could, he knows I'm, I'm going to shift out, and I shift out. And, he, and then as I come, you can counter me. Um, one more time, say again if I'm going to come with a, a straight left hand, here, and counter me, okay? So there's ways to do it. There's way, you know, this, this will be a coordination exercise, but also it's, it has a, applicability in the ring, okay? So from here team, on the pads, how it's going to look, Martin attacks with a direct back kick, keeping all the fundamental points we have gone through. Direct, push forward, boom. I will, I will generally get knocked back by the kick, and he knocks me back. And as I come in, I got a rush in, 100% speed, counter back kick. He recovers off in a balanced stance, ready to go again, okay? Martin's gonna demonstrate now, after the second back kick, not recovering properly. And you know, it will show you and highlight how you can't link this in as a coordination. And the, and the, the, the reason we do this, just to emphasize the, 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 the recovery and to try and emphasize how, how you're moving. So he's going to do it now, and on the second back kick, he's just not going to recover, and it'll show how hard it is to link the next one in. Yeah, good. Sure. That was good. That was good. Yeah. Slips off the pad again. If he over rotates and slips off, then it's not. It's not again. It's not the best. Okay. So everything has to be good. He's going to do the first back kick correct, and the second one is just not going to recover, and maybe over rotate, and we'll see how it looks incorrect. Good. He, you know. Bad technique, he's not in a good stance, I'm too close to him, he's in the danger zone. He wants to bounce off the pad and be in a safe place, ready to go again. We're going to link four in a row now. Back kick comes tight, he launches forward. As I rush, he does the short back kick. If your opponent rushes you and they come really close, don't think, oh, it's not the right distance, damn it. Throw the kick, because in the ring, it's not going to be perfect all the time. So some back kicks, you might be this close, and it's a short back kick, so... Don't think about perfect, perfect, but the distances, it changes in the fight, so you know, if the distance isn't your perfect distance, just throw it. So you're gonna link four in a row now. Attack back kick into short counter back kick. Absolute perfect, perfect form, um, good power, excellent recovery, balanced stance. And that's a demonstration, okay, of the, the coordination of how to link in an attacking back kick with a short back kick.